everybody! Today we are going through the faceplate of the Texas Ranger TRE-936 FFB to take a look at the controls and switches and what they do, as well as go over a few other features. No muss, no fuss, just information. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get started. Starting here from the left is the mic gain control. The mic gain controls how loud your voice is going to sound to other people. Usually, you'd want this control turned all the way to the right, but if people say you're coming in too hot or you sound distorted, then turn the mic gain down a bit. To the right of that, we have a stacked volume and squelch control, which also acts as your power on or off switch. As a little tip about stacked knobs, if you look at the lettering above the knob, you will see VOL has a line leading to the center of the diagram. This indicates that volume is your center control and the squelch adjustment is the outer control. The volume control adjusts how loud everything sounds over the speaker. All the way down will power off the radio, and all the way up will of course make everything really loud. Who could have guessed that one? Not me. The squelch control is a little less obvious, but it allows you to filter out some of the static and background noise. Start with it all the way to the left and turn it up until most of the noise goes away. Avoid cranking it to the max though, because it can filter out a weaker signal that you may want to hear. Next up is the RF gain control and SWR calibration knobs. The RF gain control allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the receiver. This one we do recommend leaving all the way up to make sure you're hearing as much as possible. Turning it back to the left will limit how much you're going to be able to pull in, but that can be helpful if you don't want to hear someone way off in the distance. If you just want to get rid of static, we recommend that you use the squelch control instead. The SWR calibration knob is used to calibrate the radio's built-in SWR meter so that it's giving you an accurate reading on the SWR of your antenna system. This control does not change your actual SWR readings, it actually just helps you make sure that your readings are accurate. We'll circle back and go over how you'd actually use the SWR calibration knob and use the SWR meter towards the end of the video, but let's get the other stuff out of the way first. The second to the last knob is the talkback function, which lets you hear what your transmission sounds like to other people. So if you ever want to adjust your mic gain or set levels on an amplified mic or echo mic, this is the control you'd use. Careful with how loud you set the talkback volume to though, as you run the risk of getting a loud squeal as your mic and speaker start feeding back. If this happens, turn down the talkback or try moving your speaker to a position where it's less likely to be picked up by your microphone. The big guy on the right is your channel selector and is placed conveniently below your LED channel display. Pretty straightforward of course, the channel goes up, channel goes down. Sticking with the display, this radio comes with a 6 digit frequency counter that will show you the exact frequency of the channel you're on. The SRF and SWR meter gauges your signal strength, transmitted power, and SWR readings of your antenna system. And right next to that, you've also got the little TXRX light that changes from blue to red to indicate if you are transmitting or receiving. That brings us to the buttons. The top left button switches the frequency display on or off, and underneath that is the bright and dim button to help tone down those blue LEDs. In the top center, we've got your NB slash ANL switch, which turns on the noise blanker and automatic noise limiter that help with filtering out your unwanted background noises and interference. Bottom center is your PA or public address mode, which basically converts your radio into a megaphone. It disables the broadcast function of the radio and instead sends the signal to a PA speaker jack found on the back of the radio. This makes it perfect for communicating to a group of people on a job site or politely telling the neighbor kid to quit laying in the middle of the street. Good times, good times. 
Note that when enabling the PA mode, you'll notice the frequency display and channel indicator go dark to imply that you're not broadcasting as a CB. It can be an easy thing to bump, so if you ever notice your channel display being off and no one's hearing you, double check your PA button. The last two buttons are for Roger Beep and an instant channel 19 button. The RB button adds a Roger Beep that sounds when you stop transmitting to let others know it's their turn to talk. The bottom right button is an instant channel 19 button that automatically brings you back to channel 19 when pressed, so you and a friend can talk on a different frequency but quickly jump to 19 and back if you need to get information from people there as well. Maybe one of the best things about this radio isn't even the radio itself, but the microphone that Ranger pairs with it. We've been recommending these mics for a long time due to their noise cancellation and great audio quality. If you've not used a noise cancelling mic before, it's important to know that the microphone is designed to be held right up to your mouth, not held away from you like you might be used to. That allows the mic to pick up your voice clearly without picking up noise from your wipers or the road. Okay, so as promised, here is your quick guide to understanding the SWR meter and its calibration. I'm going to hand things over to our CB expert Jason for that, who is going to show you on a real radio in real time. So take it away, Jason. Hey everybody, testing your SWR reading is a vital part of any CB system. In this video, we'll go over how to check your SWR readings using the Texas Ranger TRE 936. However, this same procedure will be the same for almost any CB. This includes Cobra, Uniden, etc. The process is simple, go to a channel, calibrate your meter, and get the reading. Once you have your readings, then you'll know how to tune your antenna system. A piece of paper and a pen can help this process along as well. Alright, so step one is to pick a channel, usually 1 or 40, and then you're going to want to set the SRF SWR Cal knob to calibrate as we want to calibrate the meter. So we are on channel 1, we are on calibrates, and if you key your microphone, you'll notice that the needle moves over. We want to adjust that to the top right where it says Cal. Every meter might be a little different, but generally you're looking for a mark on the top bar that says Calibrate. Once you've done that, you go to SWR, key your mic, and that top bar tells you the reading. Now the way that top bar reads, it starts with a 1, there's a notch for 1.5, 2, and 3. So in this case, we are barely moving, we have about a 1.0 on channel 1. Then you want to go to channel 40 and repeat the process. Calibrate, key up, adjust your knob, go to SWR, get your rating. And you can see we're a little bit higher here, maybe about a 1.2, 1.3. So in this case, our SWR is good, we wouldn't have to do anything else. If your readings were higher than this, that's where you'd want to adjust your antenna. Well, thank you, Jason. Now, before you get an accurate SWR reading, you want to make sure the meter is reading accurately for the channel you're on. You'll typically test on channels 1, 19, and 40 to get readings across the spectrum, and with those readings, you'll make adjustments to your antenna to try and get the readings as low as possible. Whew, we made it. Thanks for sticking around and checking out the ins and outs of the Ranger TRE 936. Each control and button I've mentioned today is tactile and easily accessible, making it great for just about everyone. If you want to try one out for yourself or read more about it, you can check out our link in the description below or check out our brick and mortar store. If you like our content and want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below and we can do this again sometime. As always, get talking will help. I'll see you next time.